Today we're here with the chairman of the Education Committee for Republicans, Jesse Topper. Thank you so much for joining me today, Jesse. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. So we're going to jump right in. Everyone's talking about education, the Basic Education Funding Commission hearings, the Joint Appropriations and Education Committee hearings. On top of that, what is all of this about? Well, it's about two things, really. The first thing, I think, is in response to the court decision, which we're all aware of by now, that said that the current way that we fund public education in Pennsylvania is unconstitutional. That was a decision by the Commonwealth Court. Uh, and agree or disagree, we have seen this, I think, in the Republican caucus as an opportunity to really advocate for transformational change, not just in how our schools are funded, but how they operate in general and how we can ensure that every child has access to a high-quality education. Uh, the second reason I believe that, that a lot of these hearings are going on is education was really the centerpiece of Governor Shapiro's first budget deal, uh, and it fell apart, to be quite frank, and it fell apart around education, including around the idea uh, of, a, of a new way to potentially take students who are in schools that are in crisis and communities that are in crisis and allow them the opportunity uh, for a different education. So I think, I think that really uh, precipitated a lot of the conversations that are going on, some of them very positive conversations. I think we're moving in the right direction. And then sometimes, you know, I feel we're pulled backwards because sometimes in education and in academia, we tend to look through things uh, through that same bubble. And instead of, instead of getting outside and realizing that the delivery of education is different, um, this is a different world that, that we're living in. You know, this was a system set up in the industrial age where kids were given summers off so they could help their parents bring in the crops. Clearly, we're not at that time anymore. Uh, so a, a way of modernizing and just making our system more dynamic and, and really uh, adapting to change, I think, is important. So, yes, the dollars and cents, that's an important part of it. But just how our system functions has really been my goal uh, as the Republican Education Chair to drive that conversation moving forward. How many hearings have you been to so far? Can you share with my constituents what what does this mean? Like, what does this mean when we talk about these hearings? Um, who are we hearing from, and what is the end result going to be at some point? So, the Basic Education Funding Commission. I believe we're on our seventh uh, seventh or eighth meeting now. We still have uh, three more hearings to go. We've been hearing from various educational stakeholder groups, from the school boards association to the school business officials, uh, the teachers. Uh, we've heard from superintendents. We've heard from, from parents. We've heard from uh, outside groups that are involved in education policy. Uh, we're going to come up. We're going to be hearing from some um, economic development groups like the Chamber of Commerce. And the reason is because public education also is about economic development. You know, we have workforce needs. We have uh, local property tax issues. It, it affects a lot more than just parents and students, and we understand that. Uh, and and so the recommendation for the commission will come about after all of those hearings. Now, the Basic Education Funding Commission is responsible for making a recommendation, particularly as it relates to the funding formula, how the dollars are driven out. It's really not our role to decide how much or how many dollars get driven out. That's the General Assembly as a whole and the governor, but it'll be our job to make a recommendation uh, for how we can best see these dollars being driven out in, a, in an equitable way uh, that meets the court's mandate. And in terms of the regular education hearings, um, those are about all the educational issues we're seeing. And you, you, once again, you see a variety of, um, of testifiers from think tanks. Once again, uh, we, we've had parents testify. We've had students testify. Uh, we had a student testify at the Basic Education Funding Commission. It was very compelling. Um, because we need to make sure we hear from all aspects, not just the traditional, I call them the P groups, you know, PSEA, PSBA, uh, PSBO, you know, all the, all the different groups. Uh, but that we hear from everybody who, who this could touch and, and look for ideas that are from the outside as well as from within. So when is there going to be an action, do you think? Well, there'll be a report issued from the Basic Education Funding Commission uh, probably about mid-January. And that will be in time for the governor to choose, if he so chooses, to include uh, something in his budget address for next year. Obviously, we'd like to see our current uh, year budget closed out with a lot of the code bills that surround the actual budget bill itself. And hopefully that will happen in the coming weeks. Last week, I was able to attend an, an appropriations and education hearing in Philadelphia School District. Um, looking at some of these topics and there was a lot of discussion from some people during public comment about more 
funding and more dollars that are needed for education, while others talked about some accountability and some things that need to change and be modernized. Do you have any thoughts on you know, how you think about doing the best thing that we can for students and, and our children across the Commonwealth, but also thinking about accountability and dollars because Pennsylvania does spend a lot of money on education. So do you have any thoughts on that? It's both. You know, we live in divided government. And so there's going to be uh, some of both. There's going to be, I've been here for 10 years. There's never been less money put into education. There's always additional dollars uh, in my 10 years here that have gone to public education. The accountability piece is extremely important. We need to know what the metrics are for student growth and to make sure that our students are achieving that. And if they're not, it's not a punitive thing. We're not looking to, to punish school districts. We're looking to try and help and see well, if, if kids aren't able to reach that kind of growth, if kids are having a tough time, what can we do differently? Clearly, we need to do something differently in some of these areas. Um, so I think it's, it's both. You, all, you have to have accountability attached to the dollars, and I think in the end you will see that. I think one problem that we seem to have is that we are in divided government, and it's very hard right now for any bills, to, we have a very small amount of bills that are moving forward that the governor is actually signing. So knowing that the governor has signed the least amount of bills for many years, how does that potentially impact our ability to respond and take action based on what the court said to us? Well, we have to keep working. I mean, there's no there's no easy solution. We have to keep uh, looking for answers. We have to keep uh, working uh, diligently to to put forth proposals uh, and eventually we will get something done. Eventually we have to, uh, or the courts will act for us and that's not a situation that, that we need to be in. Look, at the end of the day, it's about governing. Uh, we need to govern in a state that is, you know, from our perspective as Republicans, we, we don't live in Mississippi or Alabama where we just can do whatever we want to do. And, and conversely, neither can the Democratic House majority because you have a Republican uh, Senate and a very div divided House. And a governor, look, who has definitely shown that he is not necessarily willing to draw the, the typical ideological lines when it comes to education. You know, he's promoted a, a certain school choice uh, package that has even received some some difficulty in his own ranks. So I think everybody's really you know acknowledging that the work is going to be difficult, but I still have a lot of hope that we're going to be able to get something done. Well, I appreciate the updates, and it sounds like I'm going to be checking back with you later to hear what is happening with the report that's coming out and a lot of the issues at hand. So thank you for joining me today, but we'll be talking again soon. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you.